Hi, I'm John Shannon from Sterling Gear, and I'm going to be showing you today how we can record batch commands to easily run multiple processes within Imagine. So here we have a classification, and I want to run the clump command and eliminate command to get rid of some of the salt and pepper effects within the classification. So the first thing we do is go to File, Batch, and start recording batch commands. Here's our batch command editor, more of that later. And then we want to go to Thematic and run the clump command. Our input is there, our output is going to be called clump. And then we click on batch. And if we go back to the editor, you can see that the command has been added there. And as we've ticked run commands as they are added, it's also produced the clump file for us. So the next thing we want to do is you run eliminate. And so we go to eliminate. So our input there is actually the clump file. Let's just get that. Our output is eliminate. Let's have a minimum area of 20 pixels. And then again, we click to add that to the batch. And that's been added to the commands there. Now, those are the only two commands we want to add. So I'm going to click stop recording now. And if we close that, let's just have a look at the eliminate file and see what, uh, what's happened. And I'm going to need to change the colors there and if we swipe between them then there's been a little bit of change in removing the salt and pepper effect but now we can save this uh, batch command and if we change um, the variables here from uh, to one input with one or more outputs we can see we've got the input there input clump and input eliminate populated as outputs and then we can just add in as many other files as we want and run that process. And that means that uh, we can link all those commands together. We now have a batch command where we can just have a one button press and produce multiple outputs. Hope that's useful and uh, come back soon for another two minute tip.